Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to collapse rows in a pivot table in Excel. Pivot tables are one of the most useful tools in Excel, and they can be used to summarize the data in a table or a data set. When you've created a pivot table and you want to collapse rows, you can do that by inserting another field that uh, will group the rows together. So let's see how to do this. In this example, I have a pivot table in which has a list of cars. Now I want to group these so uh, I can introduce one more field above this. So I select the pivot table, go to pivot table analyze, and first I need to show the field list. Now, as I can see from the other fields available, there is a field called manufacturer. Now manufacturer obviously uh, will be a good candidate for grouping these together. So let's try this and see. So I'll select manufacturer and drag it down to above the name because I want to be able to group it by manufacturer. So when I do that, I can see that this has worked and the manufacturer has grouped the names together. I can now expand this and get the list of cars under uh, each manufacturer. So in this way, I can collapse the rows in a pivot table. Now, of course, it uh, goes without saying that uh, to collapse the rows, you need to have this hierarchy already built in. In this data set, I have a hierarchy of manufacturer, uh, manufacturer under which there are names of cars. So in this case, it is possible to do it and to collapse the rows. So this is how to collapse rows in a pivot table in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.